Sugar Victor calling CQDX. Uh, the next on our list is we had our ham radio Christmas dinner. Uh, Randy, do you have a total count? 38? 38. We said Cafe Del Rio and Beaumont. Uh, I had a good time. Appreciate everybody coming out. I know the uh, fog that night was pretty thick. Uh, if you didn't make it, you missed a good meal. We would have Be there next year, February 25th and 26th. I'm going to turn the floor over to Rocky. Uh, I'm sure he's got an update for us and his normal sign up on that list and help out. And uh, if you want to do uh, security, uh, Gary Gregg will do that. I'll push out his, uh, Kurt, if you can push it out further. I'll be, uh, his email address he's going to use to work with all the contacts because he don't want nobody blowing his phone up. So, uh, ain't blaming for that. Yeah, so, uh, but volunteering to help. So, uh, we're, uh, we got everything in place. We're just waiting for the 25th to roll around. So, uh, like Rocky said, we've got all the door prizes and grand prizes uh, in. They're really, really good. Uh, third grand prize is Wolf River Coils Vertical, grade four POTA. Uh, second grand prize is a Heil Pro 7 headset, top of the line headset. Super grand prize is Yesu FT10. Fine hybrid SVR FT10 uh, machine that the Rainham Fest has been postponed until next year. So, while wow, that's a great ham fest, and I'm sorry that they felt like they needed to do that, I think there's going to be a positive impact for the for the orange ham fest. So there's a lot of things coming together. We, we would rather not see Orange County decide at the last minute that COVID was too hot. Mm -hmm. Belton. It, it, Belton. It's uh, appears to be the uh, Belton Orange that says, what, the came gave that away? No. <laughs> I thought it was Steve as soon as I saw it. Yeah. That's and, uh, it was funny, I didn't know what it was. The guy was trying to explain it, he had two of them. And it was a guy, it's a, and he, was, he walked up, was trying to explain it. And I was talking to him, he said, you know who I am? Oh, he said, yeah. no, he said, I'm the guy from CQ Magazine that does all the deals, and he bought it. I said, oh, son of a gun, I wish I would have known what it was. Guys, why well, I have a second one. So I know a fella that needs that. <laughs> well, I did hook it up today and listen. Did it? You see? I heard one satellite, the Chinese lilac sat. <laughs> uh, Don't worry, you'll hear a lot of them. Did you have a filter on your radio? An A95 filter? Oh, he's using a bow fan. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was not using a bow fan. I was using a no better. There you go. This is all made out of non-conducting material. It was a disc all. <laughs> it's not a disc all. No, I said it just resembles it, yeah. It resembles one. He had a little cover on the top of here. Yeah, oh, this, here this uh, is a conical log spiral in yep. town. It has a type in connector on the bottom with a feed up the middle, and it feeds these wires. There's one opposite the other all the way down to the bottom. I got is practically nothing reflected on two meters or UHF. Wow. So, and I'm not sure where it stops off. And I'm not sure it's just supposed to be operated straight up either. There might be a mount that this thing goes on. This is my tripod, so I made an adapter. It may be made so that you tilt it toward a geostationary satellite. Uh, this is a GPS antenna on the top so that you can, it's got a TNC connector yeah. for it and a type in connection to your radio. <coughs> and again, today I, I hooked it up and listened. I had no good passes. <laughs> I finally got this one like 75 <laughs> degrees and for about five minutes, I heard the beacon. It was really odd. It was this digital signal and then someone talking for about five seconds. And then the digital signal and someone talking. I think that there's a window in there where you have an input frequency and, it, and it's like a repeater, but it has this beacon that transmits and then 
someone was talking. I think people might be making context through this thing that never was intended to do that. <laughs> but anyway, I heard it. So yes, Lawrence, you can hear some satellites on it, at least one that I know. And uh, I have already bought, brought by a conical log spiral. If you remember that blue fiberglass mm -hmm. thing I brought one time, it's the same antenna, same same design, except it was all inside. Uh, uh, I don't know. I like weird antennas, and we'll, we'll keep keep trying. We'll see if this makes a good satellite antenna. Maybe better if you track it. Let's say get, get yourself a motorized azimuthal mount. Well, and... Lawrence is probably going to bring his setup. He's got an active AZL antenna that tracks, so he probably wants to bring that to Winterfield. We don't talk about Winterfield. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, this was the very first field day when Gladys City opened in 1976. Wow. These pictures right here. I'll pass them around if people want to watch the very first picture. Yeah. I don't know how many people those. might remember who this is, but that's Barry Nadler, the FCC engineer in charge, right. WA5 PVC, now a silent key. But anyway, these are pictures from, cool. from there. Including, you like that, that guy's you're chart. Oh, oh, you're the oh, ludicrous oh, right, oh, I saw some home and put a look around there. How many? Well, we have eating. Five. And, uh, <laughs> depending on the weather, we have other thoughts and options, yes. Uh, my...